So I have to share um, my story about yesterday's misadventures in our taxi <laughs> service. So, um, yeah, for anyone that has been following me, um, you know that this is my moving weekend and it's hectic and stressful and I'm a single mother um, that's full time with a one year old and a two and a half year old and we've been doing we the, obviously the babies can't do anything i have been moving everything myself by myself with the babies with my disabilities and i've been making multiple trips in taxis trying to get our stuff back and forth it's a 50 dollars cab ride just the one way well yesterday the children's aid society had paid for the taxi and they had already paid it in advance through their billing department and everything else to help us out. Well, the one taxi driver um, was demanding that I pay, even though it was a pre-arranged drive that was already paid for, um, and was being rude to me and my kids, and I, I had to get on the phone with the CAS worker, and I put her on speakerphone, I said, you gotta talk to this guy, I said he's being outrageous right now. Um, so that was cleared up, but the guy was more worried about the phone and making sure he was getting paid than focusing on driving me and my kids. So they ordered us one other car to come back. A different driver completely. I get in the car with my kids. I load up the trunk. They couldn't even send a van. So I'm like, just we're just in a regular car. I load up the trunk. I load up the kids. I sit in the car and I ask him to put on the AC and he doesn't respond. He just drives away and he immediately gets on the highway because we weren't far off the highway. This taxi driver from Blue Line Taxi Car 862 hotboxed me and my babies in the back of his car. He refused to put on the air conditioning. It was sweltering heat. I ended up having heat stroke last night. I was deathly ill. Um, my head was throbbing. I had a migraine. I was vomiting. All my muscles were like tense. Um, I couldn't see straight. I couldn't walk straight. And I'm alone with my kids. Like, my kids deserve better than this. You know, I'm like, I am so livid right now that I was begging the taxi driver. I said, this is, this is cruelty. I said, these are babies back here. I said, I can't breathe. I'm like, I feel like I'm going to vomit. And I'm like begging the driver to put on the air conditioning. And he refused. I called Blue Line Taxi in Ottawa to complain. Their complaint line is full. Their message box is full. It's no wonder that the complaint line is full. You allow your drivers to treat your customers.